and here's why you can handle it without you know weirding out and getting offended or getting triggered it's because you are so organized that you've actually prepared for that contingency hey guys peter birchfield here you're watching prepare to go there Hey friends, Peter Birchfield here. I'm a leadership preparedness coach. This is a really practical question. How do you stay organized when extra things pop up? Um, this is a real question that I had in a coaching group. One of the leaders uh, in this group coaching session wanted to know, I'm, I'm being organized, I'm setting my schedule, I'm you know, uh, lining things out, I've got my plan, I'm excited to go, but you know, I'm... <laughs> on a team with other people. What do you do when other people, specifically those that you report to directly, when they bring up stuff that wasn't in the plan? And then it becomes added stuff and it actually has more weight and priority because it came from someone above you on the on the org chart. And you're like, oh no, I, I had my whole week planned out. Does this mess this up or not? The answer is no. You still can and should prefer the you know your direct reports. Re prefer the person who's given you that uh, workload. And here's why you can handle it without you know weirding out and getting offended or getting triggered. It's because you are so organized that you've actually prepared for that contingency. You've actually built in margin in your week for that kind of stuff to happen you can kind of get frustrated and you can feel that friction because you're like, this keeps happening, how do I get ahead? Well, you get ahead by planning on it to happen again uh, and then working that into that awesome plan. And so it's kind of a both and approach. One, you need to rework your plan to create buffer and margin for something unexpected to uh, come in. And then also you need to be anticipating what you can do to execute and expedite that request uh, so that way you can move on with the rest of your plan. The last thing I would say is practice your transitions. You know, what you're currently doing to the new thing uh, that pops up and then when you finish that curveball project to getting back into the more structured work. The transitions are gonna be really important as well because you can actually waste a lot of time complaining, you can waste a lot of time recuperating and you know because you're making it a bigger deal than it probably is and then you're like appealing you know, to, <laughs> to higher ups like I shouldn't be doing this and literally all that time that you're kind of fighting the system, you could be outsmarting it. Don't put yourself through that, build trust uh, keep working on yourself, keep working on your team, um, bring results, and then you can uh, reason with them. Just keep going for a great working relationship, a great work environment, and, and then you'll have some relational capital to reinvest in bigger uh, solutions. Remember, you're going places, so prepare to go there.